Hi, this is Dick Hartzell, and I'm going to uh, replace the thermostat in my house with this 2GIG Technologies CT100 Z-Wave thermostat. Here's the thermostat I will be replacing. It's uh, a Honeywell Classic Circle thermostat, so let's get to it. I'm also going to be pairing the CT100 with my Almond Plus Wi-Fi router and smart home hub. That way, I'll be able to monitor the CT100 remotely and even change its temperature. The CT100 comes with everything you need to install it, including batteries and uh, screws and mollies for uh, mounting it. The instruction manual is detailed and uh, yeah, it's a little text heavy, but uh, the instructions are well written I found and uh, if you've never done this sort of thing before, I suggest you follow them carefully. The first thing the instructions tell you to do is to switch off electricity to the heating and cooling systems. So, let's begin by doing that. The next step is to take the cover off your old thermostat. And here's where things get a little tricky. You'll notice that this wire is white and this one is red, but here's the thing. There's apparently absolutely no color consistency in wiring for thermostats. So the fact that this one's white and this one's red don't mean anything. The thing that's important are these letters over here. They may be hard to see. R, W, and Y. So what you need to do is to use these letters that came with the thermostat. They're stick-on. You put the R on the R wire, the W on the W wire, and that way when it comes time to install the CT100 you'll know which wire goes where. Now we're ready to uh, remove the plate. Now you want to be careful. Obviously these wires can uh, fall right down <coughs> behind the wall. And if you do that, getting them out could be really, really tough. The instructions suggest wrapping the wires around a pencil. So just to be safe, that's what I'm going to do. The next step is to attach the wires to the CT100. And you can see there's the W. And uh, you'll notice there's an RH and an RC. One's for heating and one's for cooling. So the only thing I've got is heat. So I'm going to be attaching the R wire to RH. The instructions tell you to make sure the wires don't touch each other and also that they don't touch any other components uh, other than the slots on the CT100. So far, so good. Snug fit. The next step is lining up the thermostat and marking holes for where you'll put the screws in here and here and down here. Now, I've got one little problem which is that the uh, square that's been cut into the wall is a little bit low for this thing so I'm going to violate the instructions a little bit by moving it up and pressing the wires against the wall. I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. So this is it here and there and down. Okay, there's one more thing to check and that's the H HVAC type which is the switch down here. The instructions say to set the HVAC type switch in the normal position if you have conventional natural gas, propane, oil, or electric heat. So as you can see, it's set to normal. Over here it's a little bit more confusing. You have two choices, gas and electric. I don't have either. I have oil. But it turns out according to the instructions, you should have that set to gas. So that's how it's set. Now that we've got the CT100 properly installed, let's turn the
power back onto the furnace. Okay, looks like we're ready to pair it with uh, our Almond Plus. When you're ready to add your CT100 to Almond Plus, go to the screen and press Add Sensor. Zigbee and Z-Wave are selected, so just press Add. Then head over to your CT100 and get it ready to do the pairing. First, touch the screen to get it activated. Press the menu button. Over here you'll see Mate. Press Mate. Press it again. You'll see the Almond Plus says Getting Sensor Info. Please wait. Then it asks you to select sensor type. We've got a thermostat, so let's pick that. And we're done. The default name is thermostat number 16, but you can call it anything you want. Now let's go and look at our connected sensors. And there's thermostat number 16 and it's displaying everything you'd want to know. It's 68.5 degrees, relative humidity 37 percent, battery up here in the corner 97 percent. You're good to go.